to check the contact the coil voltage uh, to make sure contact is getting the right voltage. So I'm going to switch on the gun and the gun is on now. So I'm going to check the coil, the terminal A1. As you can see, you've got to put it very carefully. We short it out with 240 to 24 volts, you get trouble. So I'm going to put the other one here. And as you can see, the meter now, we are getting 28 volts. So the contact is getting 28 volts, no problem. And then we'll check the contact input voltage of the thing. Oh, we are getting 240 volts to the input voltage. And then we are going to check the output voltage of the contactor is 240 volts as well, 240, 245 at the moment. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the terminals in between terminals, any voltage. And all the terminals must be almost zero volts. So all the terminals in between, no leak. The reason we check the terminals in between if there is any arc out in between the contactors and there is a loose connection, we will get some voltage there. So we can judge how good the contact is, good or bad, or there is a burnt contactors or whatever. 